Beep, 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 beep. Welcome, welcome to Sunday evening with the Jester. <laughs> How are we? Right. <coughs> God, bloody hell. This week I shall be wearing mostly jumpers. <laughs> God, it's looking cold out there, folks, today. Cold, miserable day it is. Um, nevertheless, we continue, undaunted by uh, environmental factors, to bring you a few things to have a look at, right? And have a mull over, which is quite interesting from my point of view. So, this Sunday evening, I have for you three things. I'm querying the message. Three things, <laughs> right? First up, have you been watching the unfolding cobblers about Dr. Wu? <laughs> uh, ah, it's just like... Uh, Go and have a look. Search Doctor Who. <laughs> see, see what's going on. Um, as Russell T. Davis brings a 60-year-old programme that was worldwide popularity, one of the longest science fiction running science fiction shows in history to its bloody knees in, at the church of uh, the altar of gender ideology for kids. For ki pushing, pushing a belief system that involves medicalization, sterilization and the butchery of kids on a pathway for children. That's what I put out at BBC. Right, get your head around that. So, I've, so I've got, I found a video of him being a twerp, right? So the first thing you're going to get <laughs> is Russell Turd Davis being a twerp, right? Just to remind you how big a twerp this man is. That's fair, isn't it? All right, so you're going to get a twerp. That's the first thing, right? Second thing is uh, this new guy in Argentina, Mile. <laughs> We don't know what he's going to do yet. Argentina's a bit scary. I mean, it's, you know, hunters and terrible, murderous things going on at awful times. And it's a bit of a basket case, quite frankly, in many ways. But here's this chap who's come along, Mile, who is, a, as I was informed by a lovely guy, a guy who did our um, uh, our Buxton thing yesterday. It was called Sam. He was a really nice chap. And I couldn't remember what the guy called himself. And Sam, thankfully, gave me the information. Um, he's an anarcho-capitalist. Anarcho right, OK? So... <laughs> And he's, um, in this video you're about, we, you'll see after Russell, Russell Twat Davis, right? It's him talking about his philosophy and what's going on. So it's, it's probably one of the best interviews I've seen of him yet, right? So you can watch the videos of him, all right? Have a look and see what you think. Let me know in the comments because he's an interesting fella, right? And then finally, some news from Gays Against Groomers which are a group that fight back against the indoctrination of children into the look of it cute plus hands, knees and bumps and daisy people's nonsense, right? So Gays Against Groomers have a bit of news, which is that they've now uh, taken part in and there's a new film uh, about this particular phenomenon. So you'll find all the links are in the doobris, as usual, okay? And you'll get to have a listen to these people and then you can let me know what you think because I'm interested to know, okay? And I just want to say one more thing, because I've got a microphone, and I'm sorry this is going to overrun, but um, um, when people belittle us, they love taking the piss out of us. They love othering us. They love making us look small and funny and insignificant. One of the favourite things they do is they go, oh, LGBTQTIA+, isn't that funny? Like, like, isn't that funny? You've got so many letters. In what society is having too many letters a bad thing? More letters is good. More letters include everyone. But then along comes the LGBT alliance and they say, no, we're only going to have three letters. We're going to cut off the T. We're going to cut off the T. You can't have LGBT. We're going to cut LGB, cut off the T. So what they're saying is you can only have words that are three letters long. Is that how it's going to work? So I thought to myself, can you do that? Can you talk in words that are only three left yes i can yes you can we can talk in word of own three left but why why do that because because when you talk like that you are true you are pre you are big you are buyer, you are ugly, you are lazy, and in the end, you kill. To cut out the T is to kill. A 
and you can use all these letters instead, 26 of them. You can talk gloriously and wisely and profoundly with all 26 letters. Thank you very much. The final thing I want to say is the new Doctor Who is Elaine Page. Thank you. Nosotros no somos más que nuestros representados. En términos financieros, en términos financieros es el derivado, el activo derivado nunca vale más que el subyacente. El derivado existe porque existe el subyacente. Nosotros, digamos, existimos como representantes del pueblo porque existe el pueblo. Y es una locura, es un delirio arrogarse de un representante del pueblo es más que el propio pueblo. Es un delirio, es el delirio en el que vive la casta política. Entonces, en nuestro gobierno, los políticos van a tener que vivir la misma vida que vive el ciudadano común. Van a tener que internalizar el resultado. Van a tener que internalizar el resultado. Y si se mandan macanas, no solo van a sufrir los argentinos de bien, van a sufrir más los políticos. Van a tener que vivir como viven los argentinos de bien. Se les acabó los privilegios. Se acabó la joda. Y esto solamente lo puede hacer un outsider. Lo puede hacer un tipo que viene de afuera. Y no cualquier tipo de outsider. Porque está llena la historia de outsider que se meten en estructuras preexistentes. Nosotros somos outsider, outsider. Porque somos outsider sin estructura precedente. Que la construimos para esto. ¿Para qué? Para sacarlos a patadas en el culo. Se acabó la joda, se acabaron los privilegios de la política, se acabó, se acabó. Una Argentina distinta es imposible con los mismos de siempre. Basta de la joda, se les terminó la joda y por eso me quieren exterminar. Por eso me mandan a los 200 fracasados, ¿sí? Por eso me mandan a los pseudos intelectuales, por eso me mandan a los curavilleros, por eso me mandan, digamos, a atacar por los medios, por, por eso me atacan los empresarios prebendarios, porque se acabó la joda. ¿Por qué recrudece el ataque? Porque creían que esto no iba a pasar y se encontraron con un tercio de la población gritando libertad, gritan libertad, descubrieron que no quieren ser corderos, descubrieron que se sienten mejor siendo leones, porque como dije en prim mi primer discurso, yo no vine acá a guiar corderos, vine a despertar leones y están despertando, están despertando y se van a comer crudo a los políticos chorros, se van a comer crudo a los empresarios prebendarios, se van a comer crudo a los sindicalistas que entregan a la gente, se van a comer crudo a los medios de comunicación que fueron funcionales a todos estos chorros para mantener este curro y se van a llevar puesto a los econochantas, a los encuestoros y a toda esa basura sí, que abogan por la religión del Estado porque curran de ahí. Eso, es decir, Argentina está despertando. Hay luz, sí, hay luz, porque la gente está despertando. Descubrió que la esclavitud no es negocio. Y hay una vida mejor que es la vida en libertad. Por eso estás viendo lo que estás viendo. Esto lleva a la misma dinámica que una función exponencial. Y en algún momento hubo un punto de giro... Y ahora no lo pueden parar, no lo pueden parar. Cuando la función exponencial empezó a crecer, no la podés parar. So you're just fighting to keep children innocent, but the Southern Poverty Law Center has you labeled as an extremist group. What's that like? <laughs> we laugh about it. Um, we aren't a hate group. We aren't extremists. Anybody who actually knows us knows that we're all gay and trans, and we're just regular people that want to protect children. We want to fight back against, you know, what's happening. The backlash is growing against all of us, you know, and, and it's hard to even blame people for it, but I think that that's why what we're doing is so important. We get comments all the time, every day, saying, you're changing my perception of the gay community, of gay people, because, you know, all you see coming out of the community right now is stuff like this, and the drag queen story hours, and the half-naked drag shows with kids involved, and, you know, a normal person seeing that that isn't, that doesn't really know many gay people, they're like, they're thinking that this is just what all of us want, and this is all of our agenda, and that's not true, and so I always remind people that it's actually a fringe minority within our community that, that want to do this, and that are 
pushing this, but the majority of them are straight that are actually at the top controlling what, you know, these books that get into schools mm -hmm. or funding these, uh, you know, or, or pushing for the medicalization, you know, these, these therapists and these doctors. And you guys have had a hand in 19 states passing bills that have banned child sex changes. That's great. Like, can you just give me an example of one that you're particularly excited about? So in uh, the state of Missouri, one of the very first things that uh, I actually got called in to do for Gays Against Groomers was uh, to testify before the Missouri House and Senate. It ended up passing through the legislature. The, the governor signed it into law. It did get challenged by the ACLU just recently. And, uh, but thankfully, uh, the courts uh, were sane in the state of Missouri and they upheld the Missouri law. And Gays Against Groomers had a part in that. So what do you reckon? That's a few things to look at it. Here, tell me in the comments. Become a warrior teacher. Buy me a coffee. It's nearly the end of the month. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. PayPal me. Whatever the hell you can do. Give me, give me your money. Just, yeah, if you can help out, please do. Um, I'm looking forward to an exciting few months as I, uh, we've got our uh, warrior teachers are approaching the latter half of year two. It's so bloody exciting what we're doing, you know. I don't know what it is. I've got no idea what it actually is yet, but it's so exciting. And uh, to see people getting involved, and I'm uh, really, really pleased and really must thank everyone who's helping me to keep this going because I appreciate everything you're doing from every share to every pound. So thank you, all right? I'll see you later. Have a lovely Sunday evening.